In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zoom voting and raise hand functionality and how to run meetings using these options. So when you get into a Zoom meeting room, you probably won't be able to see participants or chat sidebars because these panels by default are not shown. To access them, you need to use the menu at the bottom of the screen. If you don't see this menu, you need to mouse over the bottom of the screen and then the menu should appear. If you're on your phone, you need to tap your screen to see the menu. So if you click on the participants icon, it should open a sidebar with the list of all participants attending the meeting. If you're a host or co-host, you will also see people who are in the waiting room. This menu is quite handy to speed up your meetings. It lets participants to express some basic moods or requests, even if they're on mute. And this is all done with a few action buttons available at the bottom of that sidebar. If participants are muted and we want to allow some kind of discussion or let people express their opinion, we can do that by using raise hand emoji. Now here I am logged in as a host, so uh, you can't see the actual raise hand button. But if you're a participant, you should be able to see it as the first icon on the left hand side, like here. So if you're a participant and you want to voice your opinion, simply click raise hand emoji and you will be placed in the queue. The raised hand icon will appear next to your name in the participants list. And this is how the host and everyone else knows who wants to speak. And the raised hand icon also appears within the person's profile in the gallery view. Once there are people in the queue, the host can decide to uh, unmute the person and allow them to speak or lower the hand or use a few other additional options. Um, but I'm not going to go into any details here. What is cool about this uh, raise hand function is that Zoom manages the queue for us. So if you're a host or you participate in a meeting and several people want to speak, the system manages the queue automatically. If there are already people in the queue, the next person raising hand will be placed at the end of the waiting list. Okay, so you raise your hand, but what if you change your mind and you don't want to speak anymore? Well, simply click on the icon again and you should be removed from the queue. Okay, so let's jump to the voting functionality. So imagine we have 50 participants and everyone is on mute and a question is raised and we need to agree on something without letting every single person speak because that would take time. To have a quick vote on something, we can use yes and no buttons. So the host can ask a question and participants are requested to post their answer, yes or no. And that's it. We don't even need to count these votes, Zoom does it for us. So every person that votes has a tick or a cross appearing next to their name. And we also see the total sum of all the votes at the bottom. That's it. To have another vote, everyone would need to untick their current choice. There is another option where the host clears everything on the list using clear all option. But if you're a host, I would keep in mind that this will also remove hand icon and it will clear entire queue of people wa waiting to speak. Let's have a look and see how the same thing looks on a couple of other operating systems. So if you're on Mac, it is the same bottom menu where you click on the participants. The difference is that the sidebar looks slightly different. It is more like a pop-up box. So if you can't see it, check it if it's not hidden or minimized. And finally, we're going to look how we can get participants list on our phone. So if you're on your phone, you can't see the participants menu, even if you swipe through all the screens. To see the bottom menu on your phone, you need to tap on the screen. And it doesn't have to be a specific spot. Tap anywhere and the bottom menu will pop up. Here you need to click on the participants icon and your sidebar will be displayed. It looks similar to all other devices. So you have your raise hand, yes or no votes and more options with a few additional icons there. You might need them if the meeting is long and you want to grab a coffee or something. So once again, to use the vote or raise hands, we need to go to the bottom menu, click on participants and use action icons or emojis that are in the participants sidebar. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.